In front of me right now are the fastest super shoes on the market, but what about their design helps give the runner a performance advantage? There's three ingredients to it. Firstly, a super critical foam that's light and highly responsive, meaning every time the cushioning compresses and expands, only a fraction of energy is lost. The second ingredient is the calm fiber plate or rods that stiffen the shoe up to give it some snap, allowing the responsive cushioning to not only or not be too pliable. A key benefit of the plate is to help prevent your metatarsal joint um, at the toes from having to bend as much as it's not a very elastic joint, so typically is a site of energy loss. You'll also notice that the shape of the plates are often curved quite a lot at the forefoot, and this is to help pivot your foot and drive momentum forward. Consequently, this helps prevent your ankles uh, from plantar flexing as much, which reduces the work at the site of your calves and Achilles. This is especially beneficial over longer distances. The final ingredient of a super shoe is a wild cushioned frame. Four centimeters of protection and squishy foam beneath you without the added cost of weight. This also allows brands to add curved geometries to the ground contact points to help propel you forward. It also allows enough room to add or curve a plate in a spoon-like spoon -like shape within the shoe without it intruding on your foot.